uh, you were quoted somewhere in the media, and I'd like to actually clarify that, that you were somehow a little skeptical about the kind of audience it would attract. No, that, I don't know that. I, you know, I read that quote, and I said that if my film will not get an opening or something like that. That's not true, I never said that. I know the kind of audience it would attract. Um, I don't know who's going to come in, but I know that it works for everybody. Um, everybody can learn something from it, whether it's a 14 year old boy, whether it's a mother, whether it's a grandfather, anybody. Um, so I know that once people do see the film, and if you connect with it, then it can go um, alone. What was it about the film that connected with you? I myself have uh, been a part of Have Not. Why do you say that? Um, because it is a uh, it is a kind of an incestuous place. It is a, it is a mummy daddy industry at the end of the day. A lot of it. So to be a part of it and and be an outsider always. So that that have not aspect of you know, so and I really wanted to to, to, to portray that. And, through that gamut of feelings that um, these people do, although I am from, um, I think my dad's a doctor, so I'm not from that, have not a family. But, but his brothers and everybody, they still live in the village, and, and I really want to you know, portray that. And uh, there's a certain angst that I generally feel in life, which was um, not the same, but quite similar to, to the Thanks, this character feels. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about connect, right? Yeah. But um, as you actually said, that it's a very incestuous um, industry that it comes from. Having said that, um, there's a flip side also. I mean, if you come from a, you know, a industrious family as yourself, you know, there can also be a lot of added pressure, of extra expectations. And being, as you, you use the word outsider, does that also sometimes alienate you from some of the filmmakers or um, make it a little more, you know, difficult for you to access those filmmakers? See, your first part of an actor is to get a job, get an opportunity. The opportunity comes about in a lot of different ways. So if you do not have the opportunity, then what do you do? But once you have the opportunity, then you're on your own. Then people will judge you from the merit of the kind of work you do. And in fact, if you don't do a good job, and if you're from the film industry, they will drop you to the ground even more. Is it a very but tough you will get more opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> so there is always a flip side. <laughs> yes, of course. Alia, would you agree? Do you have a lot of pressure on you also? Um, I don't know what. I don't know whether it's pressure to perform or it's pressure to match up my father's intelligence. Um, I don't know what it is, but there is pressure. But I try not to let it bother me. Um, actually, it doesn't bother me. It's just this time when people think that I have to be like my father, uh, which I'm not, and I won't agree. Uh, that I get a little that you know, it's not gonna happen. I'm not like him. I'm not gonna be like him. So, uh, but what I am is my own person. Who I have my own opinions. I have my own thoughts about certain things, which I feel are right. I don't know what anybody else thinks, but maybe that makes me a little, like, a bit like my father's daughter. You know, in when fact, she's the, I work with the whole family. She's the least <laughs> influenced. <laughs> Which was a question I was going to lead up to later. Least influenced and least bothered <laughs> about, about things. Uh, and that's what I love about her. The film, what you've done, um, Highway, it is very different from Student of the Year. Did you actually have a chance to actually see her work? No, I don't like to see those kind of movies. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know, it's too mushy and too fake. And does the entire Bollywood, the, the typical current Johar, the glamour, those are the sort of films that you also enjoy doing? Or is it like a high view, like a really meaty film that actually allows you to explore, you know, different facets of, you know, acting? Does, you know, what, what kind of films do appeal to you? I am a, a, the best of both, you know. I feel like, of course, I grew up watching that, the typical current world. So that that opportunity for me was like a dream come true. Uh, but at, at, this, at the same time, to do a film like Highway with Intias in my second film was also part of my dream come true. So I don't, I don't want to lock myself to 
you know, a particular genre because I want to explore all types of films, even whether it's, you know, another Tomb Raider. <laughs> I want to do that as well, you know, very clumsy on my feet, but I'd like to do something you like that. You have to be on the feet in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which was the one moment in the film that, you know, you both feel that you've really kind of outdone yourself? Or let's put it this way, which you found very challenging, but I think you kind of, you when you approached it, you kind of rose on top and rose above that challenge. I had decided when I got cast in this movie, I had decided that I'm going to go back to where I started from as an actor, where it is not necessary to project what you're feeling or act for the camera or for anything else. As long as you can feel it, your being, it will catch it. But there are movies and directors who kind of tell you, no, no, I want to do it a bit more and this and that, accentuate that and accentuate this. Are you but a method actor? Method acting is a very abused <laughs> term. I would not want to be abusive towards myself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I felt that, you know, you could, uh, here is an opportunity with Intiaz at the helm and the kind of treatment that he was thinking about the movie and the realism that he was approaching it with. He says, here's an opportunity to not act at all. I was whole film was a challenge for me. So, and every, initially I didn't think, I didn't think, I didn't know how I would um, do it. Um, there were a lot of portions where I had to be, you know, I had to cry and all, and I didn't think I'd be able to cry. I don't know how to cry. I didn't have anything to be sad about, to be honest. Then I should cry like that. <laughs> but there were times I cried and I cried and I cried and I wasn't sad about anything. But I was sad as that character and that was difficult for me because I didn't know I'd be able to actually become that human being. And then I did and I became really hardcore and I had to kind of cut myself away from it. But so yeah, that was a surprise. Now you see how enjoyable she is just be around. <laughs> So Alia mentioned about your um, love for horses. You have six horses, and you've also invested in the um, in a polo invested? team. Or yeah. So will we be seeing you at the Dubai World Cup in March? That's for horse racing. Yes. Yeah, racing is a sh racing. I don't like. <laughs> you are see it. You are going to say that. Because it's uninteresting. Because um, in that a, I am too big to be a jockey. And I ride my own horses. So I'm too big to be a race jockey, so it, in my interest reigns straight away. I don't like to look at horses, I like to get on them and make them do things. I'm a show jumper and a dressage rider. And I do it very well. I think I'm a better horseman than that.